One of the key ingredients to building wealth is not only your income, it is actually what are you doing with the income that you have coming in? Recently, the former NFL player Terrell Owens uh, came out and revealed that he made $80 million uh, during his season, during his career playing in the NFL. $66 million of that was from uh, the actual NFL being paid from the teams that he was on. But then also the rest was paid by brand deals. I get paid by brand deals, right? And he said over those 80 years, um, he made $80 million. Today, in 2022, he's worth $500,000. I really want that to sink in because when I was reading this, 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 this story and just this little bit about around why uh, he is at where he's at, he admitted to something that I think I had to come on here and just really talk about. Because I tell you all that the caliber of your future will be determined by the choices you make right now. Not just the choices you make tomorrow, but the choices you make today goes on top of the choices you make tomorrow, goes on top of the choices you make the next day, goes on top of the choices you make the following day. And your choices keep compounding. And what I feel people do is, yo, I'm young. I got time. Oh, I can slip up over here. Oh, hey, I can do this. And you don't even know that the negative choice, the wrong choice, that bad choice that you're making, is just compounding on top of each other. And eventually those choices, you will reap the consequences of those choices. Your future will not be as bright as what you wanted it to be because you thought you had that much time. And this is not a reaction video to jump on, you know, to our Owens because I don't know the brother. And, and, and I commend the brother for coming out and saying, you know, listen, I made $80 million and I'm worth $500,000 today. And he said, you know why? He said, because of two main things. Number one. I was trying to keep up with the Joneses. I was trying to keep up with looking good on Facebook, looking good on Instagram and having the latest and greatest stuff, having all the cars, having all the juries, having all the ladies, having all of the fame rather than being wise and being a good steward with just not just the gifts and talents God has given me on the football field, but with the resources God gave him. Then number two, the lack of financial education. A lot of people jump on me and say, Anthony, man, you know, you got to use other people's money. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're out here teaching people use other people's money and get these credit cards and get this and finance a car, 0% interest rate. And I'm like, what? We got to start teaching people the basics. We got to start teaching people ownership. We got to start teaching people live below your means and own everything that you have and make the right decisions with your money. And, you know, I was um, um, I was doing a little bit of research and, and, and I was just studying because I was just blown away. And and they said that the median salary of all NFL players is about eight hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year. That's great. That is great money. Currently, there are thirty four NFL players who make $20 million a season, okay? And then the highest paid NFL player for the year of 2022 is $45 million. So I did the math. I was like, man, this is $80 million. Like, I'm like, what in the world? So I did the math. I said $80 million, right? $80 million. That's what Terrell Owens made in 16 seasons playing in the NFL. The average family in America, so man and woman in one home, will make about $68,000 a year. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to do the math of what does it take for the average family? How long would it take? For the average family to make $80 million at $68,000 a year. So that's $80 million divided. Do this again. $80 million divided into $68,000. Ah! It will take over a thousand years to make what Terrell Owens made in 16 seasons. To be exact, 1,176 years. But he lost it within about 10, 15 years. 
You see, wealth is not just about, oh, I got to have $500,000 coming in this year. Oh, I got to have $100,000 coming in this year. Oh, I, he needs to be making a million dollars. Wealth is not about just your income. Wealth is about how much money do you have coming in? When it comes in, how are you stewarding? How are you managing that money? What are you doing with it? If, 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 if you got $100,000 coming in every year, but you have on paper $150,000 going out a year, you're broke, you're, you're, you're negative. You're not wealthy. You make a lot of money, but you don't keep a lot of money. I really want you to let this sink in. Dave Ramsey did a big study of some of the uh, uh, self-made uh, baby step millionaires, right? And inside of this study, watch this. School teachers was in the top categories of people who have a net worth of a million dollars or more. Why? Because they're making 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a year. Um, but what they're doing is avoiding debt, living below their means and investing into everything, not into cryptocurrency, but into, you know, they're maxing out uh, pensions. They're maxing out, you know, the 401ks. They're maxing out their IRAs. You know, uh, they're paying off their mortgages and they're fully focused on the proven system that builds wealth over time. And because they're doing that, they're retiring with a million plus in their net worth. This means that the school teacher can go from making $60,000 a year to where she can pull interest. You know, she can only pull the interest. And let's say the interest on average is 10% of a million dollars. Now that's $100,000 a year. But her net worth, just, just, just pause right there. Net worth of making 50, 60, let's say high end, she made $70,000 a year for, for 30 years. And she retires with $1.5 million in her retirement portfolio. Her net worth is that. She's worth more than a man who made 80 freaking million dollars. What? A teacher who invested, who lived before her means, who paid off her mortgage, who was making $70,000 a year and was stewarding this money correctly, living below her means, living below his means as a school teacher, as a police officer, as an accountant. You trying to tell me is worth more than a man who made $80 million? If y'all don't get what I'm saying, if y'all don't get what I'm saying, this is shocking. And it's really not shocking because with me being in the money space, with me uh, uh, sitting down and talking to young NFL players, uh, young NBA players, just recently talked to a, an NBA team. Um, and man, you'll be surprised of how many young men just do not even know how to budget. They don't even know how to sit down and spend their money on paper and just sit here and say, you know what? I'm making this amount. Here are my outgoing expenses. And this is what I have left at the end of the month. Or I said, I need to spend the rest of this at the end of the month. They don't even understand. They can't even comprehend how to get just the bare minimum of the basic financial education stuff. You know, this is why I do what I do. I get a lot of people saying, oh, my gosh, Anthony, you know, you're talking about no debt. You know, you're doing the Dave Ramsey stuff. You know what I am? Because it was Financial Peace University that changed my life financially. It, it was Financial Peace University that, that helped me to understand the biblical ways of, handle, of handling my money. And you know what? I haven't been able to accomplish every single thing that I want to accomplish when it comes to money. You know why? Because I don't have the cash. I'm not about to go out there and to borrow money that I do not have to pay for something that I really cannot afford. I just purchased my dream car here recently because you know what? I was saving and I was investing and I waited until I found the right deal. And man, this brother gave me a deal on it. Nobody would believe it. But you know what? 
I wanted to make sure I had a fully funded savings account. I want to make sure that I was still investing into the proper things when it comes to, you know, um, I don't have a 401k right now. I'm trying to get it with my business, but I don't have it right now. I'm trying to make sure I am investing into my IRAs. I'm trying to make sure I am um, investing into other things for my retirement from when I do get, get, get older and I don't feel like talking to YouTube anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure that my net worth is there. That I'm always building my net worth. That when I get done with this, this season that God has me in, then I'm not looking back at my 30-year-old self saying, you know what? Dang, what were you thinking? But can I keep it real with you? At 38, I am looking at my 20-year-old self saying, dang, what were you thinking? I remember making $100,000, man, selling cars. And when they shut down the car lot, I had $800 to my name. My rent was only like $750. I didn't have a car note. But you know what? Can I keep it real with you? Right here at the table where we keep it real relevant and relatable. I was going to strip clubs. I was going out to the clubs with my boys and I was, I was buying bottles. Not drinks, bottles. I was throwing money out because I wanted to be liked. I wanted to be, I wanted to seem like the most popular dude. I wanted the ladies to see that I got money and they should, they should chill out with me. I'm keeping it real. Now I'm looking at my 20 year old self like, what were you thinking, Anthony? <laughs> like, what? I can't even remember the names of 90% of, of the ladies who I bought bottles for. What? But I spent two grand on them that night? And I remember my dad Looking at me saying, son, well, you made over $100,000 a year over the last two years. Uh, what's your savings account looking like? And I stuttered when I told my dad how much money I had in my savings account. I had to go file for unemployment. And unemployment back in the early 2000s, but I was getting like $347 a week. Listen, I am going to drop a link to Ramsey Plus. Ramsey Plus is the number one, in my personal opinion, the number one resource when it comes to the proven money system. Inside of Ramsey Plus, they're going to have Financial Peace University and they're going to have every dollar where you can budget. And I want you to check that out. Uh, if you click on my link, I think you can still get about uh, 14 days free and maybe a little bit longer, but I think it's like 14 days free. And go in there and watch the videos. My friends over there at Ramsey Solutions have the best course when it comes to how to get out of debt and how to biblically steward your money well. And make sure every Monday and every Wednesday you are locked in on this channel because I'm, I'm, I'm going harder this year. I, I'm, 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 I'm going harder this year because the caliber of your future, the caliber of your, your family's future it's depending upon the choices that you make today. Please don't get to 60, 70 years old. Please don't get to 55 and you're no longer working and your net worth is negative. Because they say by 2054, people who look like me, we will have zero to negative net worth. And that's not okay with me. To where almost is gonna bounce back. He, he's a celebrity, he'll be able to get back. And I believe when when God puts him back up, um, he's going to make a lot more money and he's going to steward that money well. So I'm, I'm believing and I'm praying with him. But this is a lesson, you guys, that we do not. We do not have to. Go through the same things he did. And honestly, a lot of celebrities have done. Let's lock in. Let's maximize this season that we're in right now so we can reap good consequences tomorrow for the choices that we made today. It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. Peace out.